Uh, my name is Gail Hobson, and I just met a couple of you that are running. Uh, Mr. Washington, I believe I have talked to you in the past quite a bit, and I love the positive things that you have done for the community. But I want to know, at this time, who uh, are you getting any backing monies from any developers in our area? Um, yes, ma'am. I have gotten money from developers. I've gotten money from people who want to build affordable housing in Riverside County, and I've tried to support their cause. But my vote's not for sale. Um, I probably had thousands of contributions from a variety of different people, anywhere from $99 to $1,000, occasionally a couple of thousand dollars. Um, that's the system that we have in place that people are free to make the contribution that they want to make to the candidate that they feel will get the most done if elected. And I have that experience. So at this time, do you feel that the growth in our area in Temecula Valley is responsible growth? for um, Because we have so many issues right now, and you know this, yes. because you live in the area. Yes. With our traffic issues and people are frustrated because they can't get to work on time, mothers can't get their children to school on time. There's so many variants because of this growth. I believe in responsible growth, and I want to know how you feel about that. So, to be certain, um, Marietta and Temecula are, are as close as you can be without being there to build out. So, quite honestly, there's not going to be any more significant building going on in Marietta and Temecula. My other cities, him at San Jacinto, continue to, to want growth. The congestion you see on the freeway, um, some 90% of that traffic is not people that live in Marietta, Temecula. It's people who reside, uh, who work in San Diego County and drive through this area to get to where they live, whether it be Menifee or Reno Valley. Um, we have a number of uh, veterans who have to commute from Camp Pendleton or down in San Diego who can't afford to live anywhere else but in this area. And I know that uh, Ms. Sheehan points out uh, that homes are expensive at 350, 400, 500,000. Um, but by California standards, that's actually affordable. I can't do anything about what people sell their houses for. Um, but part of why we're having a challenge creating enough affordable housing is because it's gotten so expensive to build in California. So I go to Sacramento representing Riverside County to find ways to cut red tape so that we can build more affordable housing. But guess what the trade-off is? The only place we're going to find some give is in what we all value, I think, as Democrats, is our environment, is um, California Environmental Quality Act. So there's gonna be a trade-off, one or the other. You know, housing's cheap in Texas, but they don't care about their air. So um, we've got to live what we, I'm sorry, there's somebody from Texas? No? <laughs> i got to be careful what states I criticize. <laughs> but I, I hope that answered your question, ma'am. Um, last, um, a, a couple months ago, uh, Temecula announced being awarded $50 million from the feds to add to $82 million they got from the state for $132 million towards French Valley Interchange. That's going to help the traffic. I was a part of that effort to get them money, as well as last year pushing forward a traffic relief plan that I think will benefit all of Riverside County. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.